So for land managers and farmers and ranchers, uh, the main uh, interest was how things are changing on the ground. One method of collecting this information is from above. So that is the field of remote sensing, where we use devices uh, that are mounted in airplanes and satellites that will help us to see how things are changing on the ground. USGS is the premier agency that is involved in collecting and archiving data from various satellites. And most of the satellite data are now available for free for public and we can access those images through their website. Under this collection, they have aerial images and a list of satellite data and I've selected this particular archive called Landsat 4 to 5 which has the longest history. Users can browse and select the scenes that they want to download and similarly, if you are interested to go back in time to see how was this place, say in 2008, we could go there and search the archive. We can download the full scene and after um, combining the different layers into a single image, we can open those images in programs such as Erdas Viewfinder, which are available for free. With these devices, we can see outside the visible range of the spectrum in what's commonly referred to as infrared bands. So it brings out the subtle details or subtle variations in crop growth. You can see in this particular field, there are differences. Areas that are highlighted in red, bright red are the places where the crop is growing really well and areas that are shown in darker shades of red, the crop is not doing really well. From an image, we will not be able to tell what caused those differences, but at least it will help the farmer to pinpoint areas of where they have to go on the ground to look for trouble spots or what we call anomalies in this field. So with the help of these satellite images, a farmer or a rancher can take a look at their land. It puts all that information in their hands by downloading it and with the help of a computer and an internet, they can gain access to these valuable resources to manage their land.